Well, hello everybody. So as promised, we uh, we're gonna get you guys a video of the three Blenheim girls. The only Blenheims that we have for these three litters are females, which is kind of cool, kind of awesome luck. So she's got a wrinkle right here. <laughs> when she was delivered, she came out with her yeah, face like this. Yeah, her face was like that. Yeah, her nose is tucked. Yeah, she tucked her chin down, and so she got this wrinkle right here, but it will, um, as her head grows, that will spread out, and she's going to look a little bit more like that. Yeah. So if she hadn't come out the way she did, this is what she is what she would look like. Um, but her head is just, it's still um, getting its shape back. Yeah. Her thumbprint is more, it looks more properly placed. Good girl blessing. It's pulled back like that. Yeah, good girl blessing. So we have blessing. She is absolutely yeah. beautiful. And so I wanted to point out her her thumbprint. So she has the one thumbprint. And then um, Robin's has no thumbprint. No thumbprint. Yeah, cutie pie. And then Myra's has a three thumbprint. Has a smudge. And so, oh, I love that, a smudge. We yeah, should just start calling it that because um, as they get older, <laughs> This is gonna start looking like a bridge. The chestnut will okay. spread a little bit, and Certain. that white, yeah, it'll yeah. bleed into the white, and it'll make that. This will end up being just about solid chestnut all the way across. But what that does um, when you go when you look at her head on, it stops the blaze. So when you look at her face, yeah. it's not just a white. Um, it rounds out her face quite a bit because her blaze, um, visually speaking. The, that white will just end right there. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, so it would go about yeah. that high and it'll probably come forward a little bit. Yeah, um, so and cute. then her white will continue again. Robin's puppy, the chestnut is still gonna narrow. However much white they have now, they will have less white as they get bigger. The chestnut always expands. And just like in the tricolors, the black always expands. Um, if you've seen Robin, um, you know that she has really long, flowy fur. Um, this puppy's markings are very, very similar to Robin's as a puppy. And so we're expecting her to look very similar to Robin as an adult. Um, she's like, even her, her chestnut is in very similar spots and she's got like just about the same amount. Um, Robin has a very long, flowy tail, and um, Macchiato, her dad, mm -hmm. his tail is like silk. <laughs> when you, I love to just pull it like this because it feels so good in your fingers, fingers because yeah. it's so soft. And his his looks like a flag when he has it up in the yeah. air. It's like but the, they're feathering both Robin yeah. and um, Macchiato. Her mom and dad have very beautiful feathering on their chests and on their bellies, even on their legs right here. And something we should point out is that these two have the same father. They oh, both, yeah, yeah, yeah. They both uh, come from Macchiato, while Myra's uh, litter is from Spike. And yeah. Spike is a, a Blenheim. He has very nice fur, too. It's very nicely shaped, and he has, like, the... Um, the flowing tail um however he has a really nice tail too yeah but his fur is a little bit more uh wiry yeah um, it's not pretty. yeah it's not quite as uh soft as as macchiato's oh hi sweetheart yeah oh, good girl um yeah so the things i'm saying about macchiato um about robin's puppy you can apply to remy's puppy as well she will probably also have very nice long flowy fur yeah um, I, I think Remy's puppy is going to be absolutely stunning. Yeah, Remy's puppy. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, so, personality-wise, uh, Myra's puppy is is pretty people-driven. Like, they, like, just now, um, if I were to put her down, she will hunt out my hands, yeah, see, and, uh, look for, you know, comfort, um, they all of Myra's puppies are are pretty uh, like they're confident enough that they are comfortable when they aren't around mom. Like if uh, Myra gets up and 
and walks off, they don't start having a meltdown. Um, they are very, very confident. They're really well adjusted. Yeah, they're very well adjusted puppies, especially for only being a little over a week old. What like, is it? Yeah. So, yeah, good girl. The, the other thing is that with there only being four of them, none of them are really bullies and especially um but especially this little one she's not trying to kick other puppies off of nipples in order to get the the best nipple like she's as you can tell she's really really calm just hanging out in my hands like she's not trying to get away she just wants to relax she's happy with people where robins on the other hand <laughs> <laughs> He's showing us. Well, she, um, I think she's fussing because she wants to be held, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Her whining like this right now, I think it's because she wants, need, we've, we've been giving her all this attention. I need to go and get a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> See, now she's happy. Now she's happy and she went poop. She just wanted to be held. These are things we really like to see. Um to see them so comforted and to trust people so much at this age is just really incredible. And we tried to continue nurturing that behavior. You're so sweet. She's so happy. She just wanted to be picked up and held. This is what we want to do is when they're fussing like that, we want to try to respond so that they're, they begin learning that when they're in distress or they're uncomfortable, that people are a source of comfort and they can trust us that we will be there and um, help them when, when they're in need. Um, because they're entirely dependent. Once they're with their families and they don't have mom, they're not here with us. Um, if they're an ESA for a specific person, they are completely dependent on that person. Um, and so we try to just nurture that trust early, early on in, in their puppyhood when if mom's not out here, like we're doing this video right now and mom's not out here. Um, and so if she's in distress, we want to make sure that we respond to that. Oh, is she comfortable now? Yeah. She's so happy. Yay. Oh, thank you. To clean. Yeah, sometimes you have to clean up the puppies, and that's okay because I mean she's not, she's not upset. Yeah, she's she, very happy. She's very happy. She's good with being, being cleaned. Being handled and yeah, messed with. Aren't you? You are such a good girl. It's another thing we do with all of our puppies is we just um, do a lot of that grooming. We play with their toes. Yeah. We all those little sensitive yeah. areas. We try to desensitized yeah. throughout puppyhood so that you know at least when they come home to their family they're not already sensitive to it mm. they're um I thought you they, don't, they, oh, <laughs> they don't think anything of being having their toes messed with their mouths oh. messed with oh, yeah you let me know you didn't like that and so robin's puppy in terms of personality um I think she's actually, she's very similar to Myra's. Um, would you agree, Drew? Yeah, I would say that she's, um, they all have uh, a knack for being comfortable with people. Yeah, they're see. all very happy with yeah. with us. They're very comfortable with us. Um, I think, oh, it was Robin, it was this one who um, seemed to first show interest in people. But it was like the next day that she began showing this mm -hmm. same level of interest in people. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we tell families to not take that sort of thing too seriously because, you know, they're all, they're all still cavaliers at the end of the day, coming from the same parents. And so, um, like, I mean, these ones aren't from the same parents, but within the, a litter, they're from the same parents. Robin's little girl, and you can tell she's, she's not fussy uh, when she's being held. Um, and when she is, uh, on the nipple, uh, with the rest of her, uh, litter mates, she, she is n not, I would say aggressive where she's trying to push the weaker ones off. 
but at the same time, she is not being pushed off either. She, um, she is assertive. <laughs> like, I'd say, uh, like a, a nice mix of, um, submissive and, and dominant. So she's just a very all around good puppy so far. She's so pretty. Yes, she is. She is beautiful. She, she's. I, I am picturing her looking yeah. like a mix between Robin and Macchiato, but like I'm picturing Robin with a with a splash of mm -hmm. like Macchiato's face. Yeah, you can tell she keeps like I try to put her down, and she keeps like I, I watch. I'll try to put her down, and she kind of turns to go she's back like, towards no, my hand. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, oh that is so sweet. Yeah, so she's. She is comfortable with people. She understands that, you know, at this age, they usually are getting the gist that... She's uh, the one that was crying to be picked up. Right, yeah. So they, they know that that people are okay, that that they even though they can't see us, they can sense that, they're, that these other beings that will come and take care of them are, are good, and so they they want to be with them. Be with us, I should say. Oh yeah, she's she just wants to take a nap now in my hands. <laughs> she has found a comfortable position. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, sweetie. She really is gonna be beautiful. She's gonna look just like her mom. Got a little heart right there. Yep. You got a heart on her shoulder. Don't you? Remy's good girl. Such a sweetheart. Um, oh, and real quick before we talk about her personality, I just wanted to mention that um, her size, um, you know, we were thinking she was going to be this really big puppy, uh, and she probably will be big for a female, but I mean, I don't think she's going to be like as big as a what you would expect a, like a male or a big male to be. And all the ones in Remy's litter are, they're seem to be really starting to level out. Yeah. Um, she looks so much closer to her actual age than she did a week ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I would only be a few days off if I were to guess. Even from yesterday, I was guessing two and a half weeks, and she's two weeks old t today or tomorrow. And wow. um, Despite her being the, the biggest born, because she was the, the largest at birth, um, she and the rest of her litter mates have really started to normalize that, that curve of their growth, um, isn't quite as exponential as the other puppies. Like these guys, it's, you know, kind of taking off where they're starting to gain more and more weight each day. These guys are starting to kind of level out where it's, um, they were gaining a bunch of weight at the beginning and now they're starting to gain less and less. Um, and that's just, you and know, their bodies, their, the growth spurt that they kind of had, it's now they're, they're yeah. not having the growth spurts that we would normally expect at this age. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. 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 They're, they're not gonna be like gigantic monsters or anything. I think yeah. that your bodies right. aren't just continuing to grow and grow <laughs> yeah. and grow. Their, their yeah. bodies have, have slowed down quite a bit. Yeah. Um, Remy is a, is a, a tall female. Oh, I do have poo in my fingers. Um, Remy is a tall female. And then Macchiato is a pretty dense male, uh, but I think that she is going to That's be. That's how she's going to look. Oh man, she looks like Cody. Yeah, oh, does she? Yeah, you That's see that awesome. Macchiato face. He's got that. Ma oh, that's awesome because Cody is handsome. Cody's, Cody's so face handsome. is. Oh, he's so beautiful. Um, but. Oh. He's got his dad's the shape of his face, shape and yeah. it is just. Oh, he's beautiful. Um. Oh, well, it's okay. Um. But blessing here is, uh, I think that she is going to be a a very well rounded uh, female, and you're going to have an awesome personality to boot because she already seems a little playful, even though her eyes she are. She is so yeah. She is uh, very playful. Whenever I approach the pool, or if I'm talking to Robin. If the puppies are all sleeping, you know, not doing anything, she always pops up and comes to see who is at the pool. 
and you know her eyes aren't open yet and so it's really it's really obvious because she sticks her nose straight up in the air and you see her little whiskers going oh, yeah. and um and she comes and investigates and so she's just another one who is quick to be fascinated by people and just be very interested in people and so we we for our families who are looking for puppies specifically for um uh, mental health reasons, if they're looking for an emotional support animal or <laughs> a puppy just... to raise as, an, um, as a psychiatric service dog. Um, these are things that we um, like to see because when they're this interested in people this early, that tells us that it's you know part of who the core of to who they are. Her eyes are so close to opening. <laughs> I think she'll probably be the first one to open her eyes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if you could just catch, catch that where I tried to put her down. Let's see if she does it again. She's like, nope. Yeah, and where she, yeah, she's kind of like grabbing onto with her left paw. She's grabbing on here. All right, okay, okay, I'll put you. She's like grabbing onto my, the, the palm of my hand with her chin. Like she's grabbing right here and then also her left paw. Aww. She's got it hooked on. She doesn't want to let go. Hey, cozy. Her face, her head is slowly taking it, getting back to its normal shape. Yeah. But um, we did want you guys to see where her thumbprint, how is it actually supposed to look. Yeah. Maybe there we go. That's actually a really good angle. So you can see how the 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 extra thumbprints are really more behind her head. Yeah. I just like that. You can feel it. Her skull is almost like coming back towards me and then it drops off right there. Right, right. Yeah. I'm going down. So, she is going to have, I think she's going to be really, really pretty. Good girl. Good girl. Here, let's. Right. She is. She also has a really pretty coat on the rest of her. She's got a lot of color. And I think that she's going to be a lot like her mom, where, I mean, actually, uh, both Remy and Macchiato are very playful. Uh, they. Remy loves to be with people and to be bouncing around and uh, wanting to play, but at the she same she already is playful. Yeah, and this one, uh, yeah, she is playful. Uh, but at the same time, like Remy knows when it's time to relax. She knows when it's time to uh, just snuggle. Um, she Remy's also pretty good at reading people, so she kind of like can she can take the temperature of the room and she will. And uh, not uh, be trying to play and, and be bouncing around if you're crying, for instance. Um, she'll just come over and snuggle, put your put her head in your lap and try to try to cheer you up. And so I think that blessing here will be the same thing. I think she's got a lot of her mama in her. And she does. She has a lot of Remy in her. She's got more of her dad's face and body, <laughs> but she's got she has that she because she is so playful um because the, their their ways of playing right now are very limited and so we see it more like in the way that they interact when we're holding them so like they'll they'll bop our fingers at like a, a steady rate and then suddenly stop and then um you know they'll play little games like that and so she does a lot of those things um so i imagine when when she opens her eyes and she can see us and hear us, there we go. When she can see us and hear us, she's probably going to be playing a lot more. Hi, face. You can also tell that when you roll them onto their backs, they are not uh, losing it. They're not uh, upset and doing everything they can to roll back over. They will relax in your hands on their back. I mean, I'm not holding her like on her back or anything like that. She's her just eyes so close to. Open. I know she lo looks so stinking cute. Good girl. Let's see. We'll do the same. I'll show you the same with the others too. So, camera, you. These are some of the things we do to, to yeah. come test our temperaments. Yeah, test our temperament. Saying that's. Oh yeah, your happy puppy. When their eyes are open, we will add a staring contest to this little exercise. Yeah. We like to mm -hmm. see them look away. Yeah. Um, if you do that staring, the staring test. And then lastly, you big girl. Good girl. Yep. Ta-da. 
Aren't you a happy thing? Yes, They're you all are. like, okay, rub my belly. Yeah, rub my bellies then. Oh, yeah, here, I'll rub your belly. You're a good girl. Yeah. But as you can tell, like, it's, I'm not having to hold her on her back. She is perfectly happy. Just. And right here. And that means that they're comfortable feeling exposed with you. Mm -hmm. That they're comfortable being vulnerable. Yeah, because yeah, that's a very vulnerable position for a dog is on their back. It's exposing all the soft, sweet underbellies. It's amazing how much that changes the way she looks. Yeah. Yeah, you're pulling her, her wrinkle back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, once her snout and everything starts to, to grow and her... But that's much more accurate to how she'll... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, I know, I know you're... Talk you're about pecking. my thumbprints. that Daisy. See look at this, they're upset and they're turning towards me. Yeah, I kinda wanna see. Do a little social experiment here. Mm. See what happens when, see what happens when she... they have a non-mother. Oh. Yeah, hi sweetheart. It's almost like okay. she's it's okay. She's like, can I clean you? Can I clean mm -hmm. you? But they it's funny, like they almost like know that Daisy's not their mom, and oh, yeah. they start coming towards me, trying to snuggle. Keep us safe, please. We don't know who that is. Uh, so we have Blessing right here, uh, who is uh, Remy's uh, Blenheim female. We've got this, uh, I'd say the gray-blue uh, girl from Myra's litter. And then this uh, other blue girl. <laughs> we got the blues, I know we put all uh, blue on them. Yeah, on the on the Blenheim girls. But this is Robin's uh, Blenheim girl. They're really great puppies for ESAs. They could they could grow up and be a fantastic ESA. They are all uh, you know driven to people, and um, they seem like they will be connected to their ESA or as an ESA to their person. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they will all be very connected yeah, to they, like a single person if yeah, they have it. If they have that. Uh, but at the same time, they will make fantastic family pets and whether the family is four people, you know, and a couple of kids, uh, mom, dad, and uh, a couple of kids, um, or if it's a retired couple or just maybe a, a young couple. Uh, who, or for one person. Or for one, yeah, yeah, for one person. That's the that's the beauty about Cavaliers is they can be a, a great single person pet. Um, these guys will, are very adaptable. They will all do very well. I, um, given what we have seen thus far, um, their interactions with, with their litter mates, with their moms, with us, we think that no matter what the situation is, they will be able to adapt and be fantastic pets. I would just echo basically everything Drew just said. They all just they have very great dispositions, do well in varieties of situations, and so like they're, they would do well in a small apartment, or you know if you live in a high rise in downtown, um, the like apartment living cavaliers in general do really really well in, um, but especially when. Um, if they're an ESA dog, you know, these guys, their core personalities are going to be really suitable for any situation. A lot of family situations that we'll see would be like, we get retired families, like retired couples a lot. We will also get like single retired people. So like maybe if somebody is widowed, we've, we've had a, a puppy family in that situation um, and they do really, really, really well, and the families were really glad that they got a puppy. If you're going to get a puppy, if it's a cavalier, then it would be very doable. 
uh, a puppy cavalier uh, to start off um, is nothing to be afraid of. Uh, we do a lot of training with them so that the transition from our house to your house is very easy and so that uh, especially a lot of people are fearful of potty training. That's why we go over uh, the pellet training with you. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out and- You can comment on this video and we will address them in our next video um, that we work on. We're gonna be just kind of working on them as we go. So um, you can leave a comment with your question or you can send me a message, um, send me a text message if you have my phone number. Um, but you can also enter it into the live stream. Um, sometimes some questions um, our moderators will know the answers to. Um, but our live stream, you can ask questions on there too. We're always happy to to talk to you. Well, sometimes we'll answer it right on the live stream. Um, but especially right now, we will try to include answers to questions in our videos.